Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to use Euro 5 to train your model to detect uh, what you want, the objects. So first you need to have a uh, files name uh, Colab and go into Colab you have uh, your data site. This data site you need to have train and worried to train but test is for later to train you need to has images and labels to files and images has what you want to detect and uh, labels uh, is the location for each uh, for each image and uh, you can use the um, labels uh, from the github label this one you can go to this here github and you can download it and that's very simple app you can do that by, by yourself to label it and uh, it's same with the body the image and the labels image has different uh, totally different uh, with the train so uh, this three part is different uh, you need to size the data side because if you train uh, some images uh, same with test so the test will, you will you will get 100 percent correct so that's not uh, that's not a good uh, experience so that's an on fire so and then Go to here, open, uh, you know, open a uh, mo and uh, collab, collaborate, and you 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 go into here. I already created and uh, just go in, and wait, and you need to connect. See, connect. Uh, you need to change that to uh, GPU, and uh, if you have. If you want to pay, if you want to get the fastest speed to a uh, train, you may maybe you can pay 11 euro per month to buy some calculations. You need to use 800 or 800 or TC GPU. And when you connect, you run this code, you, you that will be sure where is your location is content. And the next part, you need to you run this code. That's that means connect the collab to your Google Drive, yeah. And then run this one going to Drive and run this code going to my Drive and uh, collab. Collab is this one collab. And then download your Euro V five from GitHub run this code and it will be so I right here so you don't need to download it uh, by your by your hand you just run this code everything will be run very fast if you just few seconds and then you go into your way file and you make sure 100% you don't have any error you better to run this code to download to install the requirements so when so now everything is ready so now you can train your model so run this code use python to run to code that and uh, run trim.py and uh, the data where is your data so in the poops and the data yum so for this file it's interesting you need to write, uh, write it by yourself so open it we can we can see yeah we can see you need to write your train location and volley the location and the class how many class you have and name it what what label you want what name you want and uh, okay close it go back to the code and also run what uh, uh, model you want to you want to train so one most important thing is you need to go back go to your way five and uh, uh, the models are here models so which one you want to run uh, your way five M or L or N if you want to run L 
as me, so you need to open it. So you need to change one thing. Change, you see here, class number, you need to change one. Is same with your date size. And then you set this value and the batch size is how many uh, images to run at one time. So I set 64. And then it will be trained uh, 100 times. So one zero one two two ninety nine. So it's one hundred time finish. It <coughs> it will be tell you how how long you take train and uh, uh, where the train model will be save eyes. You s we can see ex experience at uh, fifteen. Also, so that's the same with with before and then. If you want to detect your test image, you see your collab, your poops, that's your data set. You need to have a test image. You don't need to label it. You don't need to label just the images. And then you run this, you call the detect py dot py. And one more thing is interesting, in, in, important for this one, save. CSV. It will be if you run that. If you run that, it will be detected all the images in your test field images. And then we can go to track the track the results. You can see uh, runs detect exp. So you go to uloe five and runs and uh, detect and uh, exp. So we can see what what we have. The predictions dot csv is a it's like a Excel, so we can go to there to check all of them. Yeah, that's what you have. What's the class name and the image images name and the confidence number. So then you download the, all the you just download this file Excel and. The, Sorry, open run thing, and then you open your MATLAB. And uh, you can use. This code. First, uh, you need to so you need to download it and uh, put your uh, predictions Excel I here, and then you need to change your file names. Uh, it's the same with uh, what you want, and uh, this code I already uh, I will upload it on the video, so. You just uh, run this section. It will be tell you the true positive is one hundred ninety nine, and uh, false positive is zero. False negative is one. True negative is two hundred. So it will be tell you which one is wrong. Then what the image one hundred twenty eight is wrong. So you you can go back to check. Uh, so let me let uh let's go, let's go to track. Um, uh, uh, detect. Uh, I remember uh, five hundred with no this one. No, no. Uh, I think it's this one. One hundred twenty-eight. So I said the value is bigger than zero point seven. So this one is wrong, but it's correct because I said the confidence is too high. So then, yeah. So then we run next part. So the probably. So the confidence I side too high is more than zero point sixty six, is uh, six uh, zero point seven, 
and uh, it's all obviously it's all cracked 100 correctly and then you run this one um, this code you will track a confusion matrix you can see the correct rate is 99.8 the wrong rate is 0 0.2 percent so that's very good model close out and uh, go back to the code and everything so for the train model and uh, to use the MATLAB to analysis the uh, the table the Excel is finished and uh, one more interesting thing you open your pad chart and uh, open your Euro V5 you just download it from the github and uh, you just change one thing in the detect py dot py yeah dot detect this one and you change one thing you change this one best is yours uh you train the one is best one is yours model and next thing is change this one so the source will be use the zero zero means your local camera and then okay where's my phone uh, oh here and uh, just write we will run it will, it will be so very clear and the uh, next one is very good so now the everything is ready just try your model thank you